Hi, boys and girls. It's Principal Wright with Read Aloud number four uh, during our Hispanic Heritage Week. And I also have my Liberty Learning crown on because we're celebrating Liberty Learning today with our second graders. But at, today, I want us to read a book. It's called, um, the book is called Listening With My Heart and it's by Gabby Garcia, illustrated by Ying Hu Tan. It's a story of kindness and self-compassion. Kindness means when we are nice and self-compassion means that we care about ourselves. Compassion is a big word for kindness and it means caring about ourselves and self-compassion just means self-care. Esperanza's tummy fluttered as she practiced her lines on the porch. Today was the class play. Waiting for mama to walk with her to school, she paced back and forth when she spotted a heart-shaped rock. As Veranda picked, up, picked it up and showed it to Mama as soon as she stepped outside. I see you found a little treasure, said Mama. Esperanza rubbed its rough surface and felt a twinkle of joy. Maybe it's a sign. For what? asked Mama. She thought about the class play later that afternoon, wondering what it would finally be like in the spotlight. To put my heart in everything I do, she answered. Esperanza seemed excited about the play, and she says she's putting her heart into everything she does. At that moment, they heard scratching and a soft cry. Esperanza peeked under the stairs and spotted a kitty shaking and shivering. No mama in sight. She scooped the kitten onto her lap and cuddled her. She's all alone. I think she's hungry, Esperanza reached for her lunch bag, pinched off, off a piece of chicken and offered it to the kitty who gobbled it up. That was very kind of Esperanza to share her food with the kitty who is missing his mom. Mama, I think the rock is a reminder to spread kindness and love. That's what we do when we listen with our hearts. I think you're on to something, said Mama. Can we keep Cleopatra, please, asked Esperanza who already had named the kitty. So she named her Cle Cleopatra. Queens are always welcome at our house, said Mama. If she's still here after school, we'll take her in. Esperanza and her mom seem, Esperanza and her mom seem to be very nice. At school, Esperanza was, a, was more focused on the play than on math or reading. Clutching her script during recess, she noticed Bao sitting alone on a bench. He knew he, he was new in school this week and didn't speak much English. She wondered if he felt lonely or scared. Esperanza found a soccer ball and kicked it over to him. Now, did she kick the ball at him or did she, did she kick it to him? Because there's a difference. Kicking the ball at him would have been like bullying, but it says Esperanza found a soccer ball and kicked it over to him. So she's kicking the ball to a new student to see if he wants to play. Seems to me like Esperanza is a very kind character in our story. A smile spread across Bao's face. He stood, popped the ball in the air, then bounced it between his knee and his head a few times. Dude's got moves, thought Esperanza. They spent recess giggling and making up hand signals. Why do you think Esperanza and Bao had to use hand signals. Why can't they just talk to each other? Think about it. What are some reasons they might not be able to communicate using words so they use hand signals? Afterwards, Esperanza borrowed Miss Owen's English Vietnamese dictionary. She wrote friend in Vietnamese, drew a picture of Bao and her, then put it on his desk. Esperanza rubbed, Esperanza rubbed the rock in her pocket. Listening with her heart made her feel peaceful inside. She's listening with her heart and she's using that heart-shaped rock as a reminder. Finally, it was time for the performance. It was, it was too late for Bao to be in the play, but he stood at Miss Owen's side as a stagehand. Excitement bubbled as Esperanza wait, Esperanza waited for her cue. Esperanza walked on stage, tripped as she was about to say her first line and splattered across the stage. <gasps> oh no, how do you think she felt in that moment? 
Use words other than sad to describe our character's feelings here. Then she got up. She forgot her lines, so Miss Owens whispered them to her from backstage. He rushed through Esperanza's body as all eyes were glued to her. She wished she could disappear. We have more clues as to how our character feels. I ruined the play, thought Esperanza, rushing off stage as soon as she'd finished her part. I messed up in front of everyone. She tucked herself in behind some props so no one would see her. Esperanza noticed her body shaking and her face still burning. She took a deep breath and dug the hole, dug the rock out of her pocket. It was cracked and lopsided, just how she felt. Esperanza touched her hand to see to her heart and she felt disappointed. Have you ever felt disappointment? Bao found Esperanza a few minutes later and handed her a drawing with the word friend written above it. Esperanza nodded. She hadn't been treating herself like a friend. Bao had to remind her to treat herself like what? A friend. Esperanza realized this wasn't the first time she'd been unkind to herself. At the soccer game last week, she missed a ball that swooshed by her head and they lost the game. Nice work, a player from the other team yelled as the others laughed at her. Esperanza thought she'd let her team down and was the worst soccer player in the world. Thinking those thoughts made her feel even worse. At the curtain call, Esperanza reminded herself she hadn't ruined the play. She had an accident and accidents happened to everyone. Listening with her heart wasn't just about giving kindness and love to others. It was about giving it to herself too. I can be a friend to myself thought Esperanza. When Esperanza got home, she focused on her favorite things. She zipped down the hill on her bike, then spent the afternoon painting in the kitchen table. She also got the hug she needed from Mama and some cuddles from Cleopatra. Who's Cleopatra? Do you remember from the beginning? Listening with your heart. Some days stink. Not everything will go the way you want. You'll get upset. So when this happens, you can pause, take a few deep breaths, and practice listening with your heart. You can name what you are feeling, whatever you feel is okay. Listen to your body. Notice the sensations you are having. Pay attention to your self-talk. Are the words to yourself supportive and understanding or mean and rude? Are you being a friend to yourself? When we treat others with the same kindness and understanding we give to someone we care for, we are practicing self-compassion. Kind words for myself. Students, please join me and place both hands over your heart. Notice your hands touching each other and touching your heart. Take a few deep breaths and close your eyes if you'd like. What loving and understanding words or phrases would you like to hear when you're having a tough time or feeling upset? What would you like to feel? What would feel good or comforting to hear? Take some time and see what words or phrases come up for you. Write them down below or in a notebook and read them to yourself whenever you need to hear them. Here's one more activity we can do for self-compassion. Wrap your arms around yourself and give yourself a gentle hug. Take a few deep breaths and close your eyes if you'd like. Say these words to yourself, boys and girls. When I feel sadness, may I treat myself like the friend I need. May I show love and kindness to myself. When I feel anger, may I treat myself like the friend I need. May I show love and kindness to myself. Think of feelings you experience that are difficult for you and fill in the blank. When I feel blank, may I treat myself like the friend I need. Boys and girls, sometimes adults can be hard on themselves too. And so sometimes we need encouraging words from our boys and girls. We thank you for all that you do. And boys and girls, we hope you'll enjoy the heart activity, the kindness heart activity that you're going to be uh, doing along with this book today. Have a good day and happy Hispanic Heritage Month. And we are so proud 
to teach our boys and girls about um, a story of kindness and compassion through the lens of Esperanza, um, the Hispanic character in this book by Gabby Garcia. Thank you and have a great day, guys. Principal right to the main office. Let's check and see if second grade is ready to move. Check with um, Ms. Murphy. They have already moved. Are they ready to start? Let me find that out for you. No, ma'am, we're still waiting for classes to come in. We've got gear and I'm waiting for the remainder of the classes to come in. All right, y'all call me when it's time for it to start. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. 